So I love my audio and I love my sound. You guys can clearly see the amount of headphones behind me. That's something that's pretty true. Now I can't imagine living the world without audio or sound because for me, that's part of my daily life. But out there, there are about 466 million people worldwide and 50 million people in the US who are suffering from hearing loss. Now, I was delighted to actually work and partner on this video with a company called Cochlear to talk about their brand new Cochlear Nucleus 7. It's a cochlear sound implant processor that helps people listen and hear the beauties of sound through very fantastic ways through technology. So the brand new Cochlear Nucleus 7 allows you to stream music and listen from your smartphone, being iOS or Android. And there's so much more to this, and I got to learn quite a bit myself, especially how people with hearing loss can take advantage of some of these new technologies that Cochlear offers to basically open the world to them. So the Nucleus 7 sound processor is a unique piece of tech. Now there's an implant, there's an external piece, and the Nucleus 7 sound processor works hand in hand with the smart app, giving users a whole amount of control in doing many things like um, monitoring and customizing their hearing, locating misplaced sound processors with the Find My Processor feature, uh, tracking hearing uh, progress, and also receiving audible and visual alerts uh, calling off events. So there's a lot of functionality built in besides just expanding the listening experience, but I can talk about it, uh, but I'd rather you guys listen to Demetrius, who is a uh, cochlear implant recipient, and uh, just let him tell you how he's actually uses and how it affects his life on a daily basis. Um, well, I heard about it from my audiologist, because when I first lost my hearing, I first started using a hearing aid, but um, a hearing aid, the difference between a hearing aid and a cochlear implant is that a hearing aid amplifies the amount of hearing you already have. So if you lose too much of your hearing, you can't really benefit from it. So like that was the, the next best option for me, a cochlear implant. Well, I've been using my right one since I was 13. I was about like 2007. And I got my left one last year, November 2017. So in getting an implant, um, well, it takes surgery and it takes about a month to heal. It's not that bad. And then after that, that's when you get activated and everything. Honestly, it's, it's all a process as far as like adapting and getting used to sounds and everything. For me, I wasn't born deaf. I was actually born regular hearing. So like, I was actually already familiar with sounds, so it wasn't that bad for me as far as adapting. But for somebody that's deaf and with, that would start using the implant, it might be a little bit harder for them, but it's definitely a lot rewarding, really rewarding. Bro, I be feeling like a superhero when I got this, cause it's just like, I could control everything from my phone. Like I could play music, I could switch the channels on and everything talk on the phone so it's just pretty cool as far as like what I do on a daily basis because I function in a hearing environment like all my friends and family are hearing so like I don't really know anybody that has it so I feel like it's something that's very unique that just helps me stand out. I could I could change the channels mm -hmm. and the volume and the programs all from my phone. Okay. I could also stream music videos and phone calls. Yeah, bro, like I could be walking to work listening to Jay-Z and nobody would know. Like, <laughs> I love it, man. So you talked about the, uh, the microphone feature. Like, mm -hmm. how does that work? Um, well, basically, all I have to do is turn on the Bluetooth on my phone. Well, that's how I pretty much operate everything as far as, like, streaming and music and everything off my phone. And when I'm in loud environments, it's basically used as a microphone, so okay. I can hear if it's too loud for me. Right. Try it. So basically, I can do this with my phone. Um, that's the this thing. Yeah, so we think it's a Bluetooth, so like if it's too far away, it starts like disconnecting, like acting up, it'll get staticky. Okay. But from a decent range, yeah, it works. That's, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, this is awesome. You've got, you've got a superhero box, man. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, <laughs> I'm out here. <laughs> well, I have to say though, like for me, this has been a very, very interesting experience. Looking at a piece of technology, which most of the time we think about tech for things like cell phones and laptops and all these different gadgets. But this is something that's actually impacting someone's life. And with Demetrius, this is actually opening his world to hearing more and experiencing more. And like he even said, you know, he feels like he's got superpowers, which is pretty cool. And I'm glad that he's enjoying the experience he's getting from the uh, Cochlear Nucleus 7. Now I suggest you guys to go ahead and check it out. Uh, use the link down below to get more information about that. If you're suffering from hearing loss, maybe this is something for you and something you might actually help boost and improve your life. And also follow Demetrius on Instagram. I have a link for his um, Instagram page down there down below. I want to thank Cochlears for sponsoring this video because this was a really uh, impactful experience for me. 
So if you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment. Thank you.